Hello there. Welcome to the video series on mobile application development with Flutter and in this particular video we will understand what are drawers and how we can create them. Now you will ask what are drawers. So if you have used Twitter or Gmail application the left screen will sometimes occupy half to more than half area of the screen with some options. This is what called drawers. We will see in here that how we can create something extremely similar in Flutter and that too within a scaffold. Before starting with drawers, you need to be comfortable with the scaffold. If you are not comfortable with the scaffold, please go ahead and see my video on material design using scaffold. I will put the link into the description. So let's start our drawer code. So welcome to the code. Now what you are seeing in your screen is a bare minimum drawer example with a app bar scaffold with a title saying drawer example. Now let's go ahead and add a drawer into it. Adding a drawer is very simple. We can use the constructor parameter called drawer and use drawer widget and in child provide some text. Let's say the drawer. Okay. I'll go ahead and do a hot reload. You can see that these three lines comes over here. It's a menu option and when you click it, your drawer will be available. Now you are not able to see it because it's on the top. Let me put some slash and slash in. And if I go ahead and do the hot reload, you can see the drawer. Now this is what drawer is. Now as you can see that the drawer widget takes only child, which means that I can provide only one widget. If I want to provide more than one widget, I need to use a widget which can take a children. Let's for example, uh, experiment with column. So I'll create a column inside children and put uh, text ABC and let me do it a multiple copy of it. And if I go ahead and do a hot reload, you can see that ABC ABC is being printed over here. And since first one is going on the top, I'll just say slash in. Now you can see ABC ABC, it's there. Now, based on our own reference of Twitter and Gmail app, we know that the drawers are having some header which take top 25% of the space approximately. Now let's create a header. So let me get rid of this column. And what I will do is that I will create a widget called drawer header. And in drawer header, child, let me give text widget as a child saying that the header. Now you can see that the drawer header is being printed over here. Now again with the reference of Gmail or Twitter app, the drawer header comes with some kind of decoration which can differentiate it from the options. Let's add some decoration. So we will use some decoration and we will add box decoration. Inside the box decoration, let me put some color. I'll say colors dot, let's say orange. So if I go ahead and do a hot reload, you can see that the complete drawer become orange. This is not what we want. The drawer header takes top 25% of the space, not the complete drawer space. So to achieve this, we need to use some widget which can take multiple children, which is having the capability of keeping something one next to each other. The best widget to use over here is list view. So let me create a list view over here. I'll just copy the drawer header as a list view. In the children, let me put the drawer. And now if I go ahead and do hot reload, you can see that the drawer takes approximately top 25% of the space, which is what it's supposed to do. Now, after the drawer header is there, we can provide some options to it. So let's say I can provide some text option, let's say ABCD. It will come over here after the header. Now we can provide some text, but drawer options are used for making some actions on the screen. So we will not use text widget. The best widget to use over here is list tile. So let's use list tile. I'll use list tile. And I'll use title as text. Let's say, I'll say first option. And it has an on tap handler. Let me not implement it for now. I'll create another list tile. And I'll make the option and second option. 
go ahead to hot reload you can see that first option and second option are now available over here this is how our driver is taking shape now now let's put some actions to it to put some action i need to convert my stateless widget into a stateful widget this is because my stateful widget can reload itself again if you are not comfortable with stateful and stateless widget please go ahead and see my video on stateless and stateful widgets so let me go ahead and convert this widget into a stateful widget so what i will do is that i'll say class my app stands stateful widget let me override create state function and in here i'll return my app impl and convert this class from my app to my app impl extends state as my app now my stateless widget is converted into a stateful widget the problem is that most of the time the hot reload doesn't work properly in these particular cases where you change the base widget let me go ahead and reload it now i have the widget which looks exactly the same the only difference is it is now a stateful widget now let's add some actions to it now let me create a counter over here with value at 0 and in here i want to display the counter in the body so let me put a body over here in the center child i want to display the counter the counter value a is dollar counter so if i go ahead and do a hot reload you can see the counter value is zero being printed over here now what i want is that on the top of first option the counter should get incremented so what i will do over here is that set a state to redraw the widget and i'll say counter plus plus now let me go ahead and do a hot reload now if i go here click here come back you can see that the counter is incremented again now it is true now there is a difference you might have observed it is not going back automatically after i click this option i have to click it over here to come back to the screen this is not what we want we want it to come back automatically once i click this option to do this we need to understand something very basic about how material app work you know material app can hold multiple scaffold which gives it the functionality of navigation which means that if i want a drawer to come back automatically i need to add navigation functionality which means that i need to keep material app in a different context from that of a scaffold let's go ahead and do that so what i will do over here is that instead of calling my app over here i'll call material app and in the home i'll say my app okay now material app is already there so in here let me remove this material app so that i have the scaffold directly so everything is fine now the hot reload will not work because i changed the basic widget structure of the application let me go ahead and reload it now my application is reloaded and if i go ahead and click here still the same option happens and same way counter is incremented now what i do is that on tap of first option i say navigator dot pop context go ahead do a hot reload if i click here i click first option it comes back automatically now this is what we wanted it isn't it that if i click here it comes back automatically now this is how the drawer application work but there is one special thing we should take care of when we want to add new page as a result of some action so let me create a stateless widget over here so i'll say class test app stands stateless widget uh let me override the build function and what i will do is that i'll just return a basic scaffold scaffold with a app bar title as let's say just for testing okay now 
if I want to load this test app from the first tab, first option, what I can do over here is you might be tempted to say that okay I can just do something like this. Well, this is not a suitable option, nothing will happen, it is not gonna load this test app because you know what, it is a totally new scaffold, a totally new page and you need your material app routes to load it. Now I have talked about material app routes in the previous video, you can go ahead and see that but in this particular video I will tell you a new way of doing the same. Let's go ahead and see that. Now in here what we can do is that we can call same navigator.push. Now in here we will not call push named as we did in my earlier video, in here we will do dot push of the context. And I will create material page router. Okay. In the builder is the function where we will do it. Builder it takes a context and returns let's say my test tab. Okay. Now let me go ahead and do a hot reload and if I click on the driver, click on the first option, you can see that my new scaffold is loaded just for testing, it's being loaded. Now if you do navigator.pop from here, you will come back over here. So this is the way you create drawers with multi-page as well as with single page as well as you can handle material route without creating a specific route in material lab. So that's all for this particular video guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.